Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find Laplace transform of this e raised to a t. That means f of t is here e raised to a t where this a is constant and we have to find this Laplace of this e raised to a t. Yes, so we have to find this by using the definition of Laplace transform. So here we have by definition of Laplace transform. Yes. Laplace transform of f of t is given by this integral, integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t. Yes, when we solve this integral, yes we get function of variable s which is called the Laplace of this f of t. Yes, now we have to put f of t is here e raised to a t. Yes, so here we have this is e raised to minus st into e raised to a t. We have to find this integration with respect to t. So yes, we will take this as t common. So here we have, yes. Again, we can write this is as e raised to this is a minus s yes yes now this is integration like this is e raised to ax yes here we have e raised to ax by a this is integration with respect to x yes now when we find its integration we will get this exponential term right this is here and we have to put the limit 0 to infinity Yes, when we put limit, yes, here we have e raised to infinity. Yes, e raised to infinity is here. Infinity since e is a positive constant, right? And e raised to minus infinity, yes, we know that this is here. Yes, 1 upon infinity, that means this is 0. Yes, when we put upper limit after this integration, yes, this Laplace is get infinite. Yes, so this Laplace is not defined for this value. Yes, that means this a minus s should be less than 0. Yes, a minus s this should be less than this is 0. Yes, that means that should be negative. So, here we can write this is as a negative. So, here we have, yes, we can write this is by taking minus outside we can write this is minus of this minus s minus a. Yes. Now when we put here e raised to yes here we have e raised to minus term right. That means when we put the limit infinity here we will get e raised to minus infinity and e raised to minus infinity get 0. That means now this Laplace transform is get defined. So for this we have condition a minus s less than 0. And what we have done here we have just done the simplification. Yes we have taken this minus common from this is here. Now we can find its integration. So what is the integration of this is? This is e raised to minus s minus a upon this is minus yes. This is within limit 0 to infinity, right? This is Laplace of e raised to a t, yes. Yes, now we have to put the limit, yes, this is here t, yes. This, we have to put t is equal to 0 to infinity, that means this term is constant here. So, we can take this is outside, yes. And we have to put the limit. So, when we put limit t is equals to 0 to infinity, yes, here we have this is e raised to minus infinity and this is e raised to 0. Yes, we have put t is equals to 0 to infinity. Yes, so here we have e raised to minus infinity, this is 0 and e raised to 0, this is 1 here, right? So, this minus minus get plus. So, here we have 1 upon Yes, minus a and this is the Laplace of this e raised to a t where this condition is that this a minus, yes we have 
write down a minus s is less than 0 that means a is less than this s that means this s is greater than a yes that means when we have laplace of e raised to a t this is 1 upon s minus a condition is that s is greater than a yes yes this is the condition so that this laplace transform is get defined yes so this is the required that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching